Okay, good, good. We're actually going somewhere. Okay then. So now we can go to the engine room. Hopefully. Let's go through here, save, then continue on downward. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Okay, so now to the engine room. Okay, steam engine room. Alrighty then. Go through B, not me. Go through B. Got the wheel. Go back through there. Go see. Go put it on here. Of experiments. Okay, then now we now we get to good stuff. We're now we're in a new content. There was this experiment some scientists did with rats. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black. So dark, even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Most likely go through B, but get electrocuted. Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. But I'm guessing Santa is going to say, nope, it's going to take A. Exactly. The oh, rat goes to nope. exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over. 
using hundreds of different rats over several generations. Wait, generations of people, generations of rats. This produced some surprising results. Okay, so the generations of rats, I think I heard this before, learn from the previous generation's mistakes. So fewer and fewer are going through the uh, electric fence and are going and their eyes are adapting more to the darkness so they can go through exit A, MRI. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct yep, exit. Yep, yep, yep. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. Yep. But that wasn't the most I, I, I learned that from school. <laughs> wow, something from school actually working out in video games. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Hmm. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Hey, wait. There's something I want to ask you. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have... I don't know... Use cheese. Put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out or appear or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Oh. Uh, and we got that unlocked yes okay so we're getting closer we're getting closer so uh, we'll head outside the room we'll save there and then continue on downward even more yes the doors open <laughs> Uh, don't mean to do that. Come on, save. Save, yes, 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 yes. Okay. No, I won't. I don't want to quit, but we will go to the cargo room.
Now, uh, what was this puzzle? The cargo room, cargo room. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Let's grab all these. Shots. Mm. I want to grab this bag. They're, they're, I'm not clicking on the box. I'm clicking this thing, but whatever. Six, eight, we're missing one more. We're missing Lotus. That's missing bag, nope. Missing her. Oh, there it is. Uh, ace. Now we finally have. Hey, June, are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, all right? Uh, um. Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you. New scene. Are you all right? What happened? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. Just let me see for a sec. Huh? You're still warm. I saw her fall. 
I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Mm-hmm. Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still Very a little striking. Up. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. Oh, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine? Medicine, huh? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. And this all comes back to Cradle Pharmaceutical. Friggin' previous timelines. Just, <laughs> Your flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. Soparil? Soparil? I've heard of that before somewhere. Soparil. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. Uh, his code name is Santa. We don't actually. His real name has not been revealed to us. It's Santa because uh, his number on the watch is three. Three in Japanese is San or San. So Santa. <laughs> it became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Demand for Soparil skyrocketed. And of course, that meant Cradle Pharmaceutical stock did too. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. Uh, hmm. What the hell is he doing? June, don't push yourself, all right? Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Prosopagnosia. Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe... maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Huh. Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. Oh well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. 
Aces card is in box one. Okay, so uh, let's see. Did we get it? Yes, we did. And now we can unlock this other side of the timeline. So uh, let's head here outside the room. We'll save there, then continue down to that novel section. Long hallway, huh? No, let me let, let me save. Yes, save, 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 save. <laughs> 